Number 12. State which of the following species are amphiprotic and write chemical equations illustrating the amphiprotic character of these species. Then we have letter C. Is S2 minus amphiprotic? Now just know that amphiprotic and amphoteric are the same thing. So maybe your teacher or professor might use the amphoteric word. Maybe they might use amphiprotic, but they both mean the same thing. And that means that a species can act as an acid and a base. Just depends on the certain situation. Now, the acid one is pretty easy to detect, right? Because remember, acids always lose one hydrogen, right? In the form of hydronium, H+. So if you're going to lose a hydrogen, you got a hydrogen to give. But S2 minus, I'm looking, I'm looking all over the place. Is there any hydrogens here? No. So can this act as an acid? No. And since it can't act as an acid, can it be amphiprotic? Nope. So S2 minus is not amphiprotic. And that's the end for this question. Since it's not amphiprotic, it can't act as an acid. We don't have to write any chemical equations. Whew, thank goodness. But anyway, <laughs> that's the answer here, guys. All right? Hopefully um, this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. And I'm looking forward to helping you in later lessons. Okay, bye-bye.